Welcome back to Ab Daily News. Today I want to talk about the Montreal Canadian show the future is in fact bright for the abs. What are you talking about? I want to show you what happened yesterday again at Edmonton Alerts. Yes, they lost for the score to one. A bad penalty at the end of the game for a four minute and they took this opportunity the Edmonton Alerts to score a goal and over time to beat the Montreal again by a score to one. But I want to show you what I believe this was maybe the best game for the Montreal Canadiens this season against the Edmonton Oilers. Let's dive in talking about the subject of the day. But first of all, the first line of Montreal Canadiens, Suzuki, Caulfield, and Sarkeski getting respect in NHL. How? But yesterday, the Edmonton Oilers decided to not use Connor McDavid versus the first line, but use the shutdown line the line of Derek Ryan just give you right now an ID. The opening team respect the first line of Montreal Canadiens. And by the way, Suzuki faced to make David. They only play one minute 42 seconds during the game. Every time Nick Suzuki was on the ice, they send Derek Ryan. The next player I want to talk about uh, is the defenseman Caden Coley. Yes, he got burned again. Connor McDavid. The first goal of the game, but we have to restart this play. Everything starts with Josh Anderson. But this was the only mistake of Caden Cooley yesterday. He scored a goal against Edmonton Alerts to tie the game in front of his friend, his family. We know Cooley, born in this area, and played at the end of his career in the WHL with the Edmonton All Kings. But for me, he became a shutdown defender and NHL. This is what Kenan Cody is going to become with the Montreal Canadiens. When we talk about the future is bright, I believe Cody is going to be the best defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens. This kid has a lot of talent, he has a lot of skill, and also he has a lot of character with some kind of leadership. Yesterday, not only he scored a goal, but he played 12 minutes and 28 seconds again McDavid, this is the highest number of minutes against McDavid yesterday. And Cooley does this every single game against the best opening players with Mike Madison. Yes, he have a bad game against Calgary Flame, but he always bounces back after a bad performance. Look, against Calgary, minus three. Look tonight against the Edmonton. What a great performance. Also, he not only have a bad play against McDavid, but he scored a goal. So this kid have a lot of great mindset of flushing things negative to turn around to be positive when he bounces back after a bad mistake. And this is what is Caden Coley. But also, Montreal Canadian yesterday, their best player overall are all under 24 years old. Nick Zuski, Alex Newhook, Cole Caulfield, Joshua Rua, Caden Coley, and Uri Sakaski. This gives you an idea. The foundation is right there without Kirby Dak in the lineup last night. So again, we need to be patient with the Montreal Canadiens because the future is bright. Another stat I want to talk about yesterday. Montreal Canadiens are out of the playoff. They are out of the head coach, Martin Saint-Louis. But they find a way, try to win their game. Yesterday, they sacrificed again, black shot, Brennan Gallagher on his left hands, the same hands he broke twice. Joshua Roy stopped a puck from Evan Bouchard, one of the hardest shots in NHL. Kaden Cooley blocked the shot against Matthew Egg-Om. And David Savard did the same thing again yesterday. Montreal Canadian. They find a way to keep the motivation to try to win again the best team in the NHL. And for me, this is another great foundation of the Montreal Canadian culture. Whatever is the game 68 of the season, they are out of the playoff for the last couple of weeks. They still try to learn to develop it to become better as a unit core for the future with the Montreal Canadian. Yes, they deserve better. It was a heartbroken game last night against the Edmonton Oilers. Then, guys, they deserve better. It's difficult to lose game by one goal. 39 of the 68 games they played so far, they lose by one goal. We feel it. We see it. But for them, 
like the captain said after the game, we cannot take any negative. We have to see the positive of each game and we can realize the future in front of us is really bright and we need to believe on that part of the game right now for the Montreal Canadian. And the last couple of games, guys, Montreal Canadian lost and shoot out. Again, Tampa Bay Lightning, Florida Panthers, last and over time, again, the Boston Bruins and the Edmonton Oilers. And finally, they lost it by the score at 3-2 again the Toronto Maple Leaf and the last seven minutes of the regular time of this game. At the end of the day, that show whatsoever the Montreal are out of the playoff without Kirby Dak, they continue to performing and try to win each game again, the best team in the NHL. This is the reason I said the future of the Montreal is bright. We just need to be patient and to believe on the management of the Montreal Canadian, on the coaching staff of the Montreal Canadian, and for the development, the progression of each prospect Montreal Canadian they have at this moment. This, for me, is just the beginning of a long ride in the future with a lot of success for the Montreal Canadian. Just stay and encourage and support the Montreal Canadian. And believe me, you're going to remember this. In 2024, coach said the Montreal Canadiens are going to be a solid team start during the season 2025-2026, following for the next five to seven years in NHL. I never guarantee you a Stanley Cup, but the Montreal Canadiens are going to become a playoff team start in 2025-2026. They're going to knock the playoff wild card, and then after that, they're going to be a playoff team. Just believe of the process of the Montreal Canadian. And that's concluded, guys, my subject of the day. Here we go. Thanks for watching another app daily news. But before we leave, guys, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about my subject of the future is bright for the Montreal Canadian? And of course, I just want to remind you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and you have greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody.